I'm the first woman scholar to translate this book, which is several thousand years old. The I Ching is one of the five Chinese classics. It is originally a book of divination. That is of asking whatever spirit exists for guidance. First, you write down a question. Usually, the kind of question was something that you had already thought about, you knew you could do, okay? and, but you weren't 100% sure yet whether you should do it, how it would turn out, and when okay. you should do it. This book does not predict the future. What this book does is teach us to look very carefully at what nature is doing and learn from nature. Jane's question ended up being, should I join a writing group this year? Now, I want you to think about that question okay. and I want you to take these three pennies okay. and I want you to shake them in your hands and then let them fall here. Tell me how many heads and how many tails? Two heads and one tail. Heads are two and tails are three. So two heads is four plus three is seven. And a seven is a solid line. So I'm gonna write down a solid line. Okay. Now you need to do it five more times. Okay. Right now it's mostly Western women who are using this book and they're very badly served by the existing translations. Carl Jung was heavily influenced by a translation done in the 1920s. That translation was based on the scholarly understanding of the time that all women should be very submissive. And since then, there have been excavations in China which make it clear that at the time the original text was developed, Sustained. around 1000 BC, some women were successful leaders of military campaigns, elite women ruled their own cities, and the Chinese forgot that by the time the commentaries were written. My book is different. First, it's the first to be gender neutral. Second, it clearly separates the core text from the commentary, and most translations do not do that. Zane ended up with this figure, which I'm now going to look up. Lake below wind. Even small offerings like piglets and fish bring good fortune. So piglets and fish um, are much cheaper to give as a sacrifice than an ox, okay. okay? But it doesn't matter. You feel like your writing is puny. <laughs> yes. It doesn't matter. Okay. It's your offering. Okay. Just like this book is my offering. I came to Smith 50 years ago, and I was a struggling scholarship student from the West Coast. There were many times when I felt hopeless. I'm glad I got stronger every time. And I think the main reason I did this book is because when we are desperate in change, we reach out for words of wisdom across the centuries. If we don't have a friend nearby, we look to a friend far away. And this book has befriended people for hundreds and hundreds of years.